Gentex was a company born of vision, that of Marcus Frieder, who recognized an untapped workforce in the Carbondale area and persuaded a New York silk mill owner to build a facility there, and so evolved a silk mill into a high-tech manufacturer. One of hundreds of textile mills that dotted the Lackawanna and Wyoming Valleys at the turn of the last century, Gentex was able to thrive across both the industrial and the digital revolutions because of their unbroken stretch of visionary leadership. The company earned the Army-Navy E Award for excellence in wartime production and an enduring partnership with the Department of Defense. Thanks to that partnership and the continued vision of a third generation, L. Peter, and a fourth, his son L.P., Gentex is a leading provider of innovative solutions that enhance personal protection and situational awareness for global defense forces, emergency responders, and industrial personnel operating in high-performance environments. The company supports its global customers through a worldwide distribution network and five other facilities in the United States and the United Kingdom. For more than a century, the Frieder family has successfully guided the company from silk mill to parachute manufacturer to high-tech maker of solutions for personal protection and situational awareness. They've created an environment where great ideas and great people can thrive. But one of their most notable achievements is their continued support of innovation in the community through organizations like the Commonwealth Medical College. Innovation to me is an interesting thought process. Uh, it doesn't matter what, what area you're talking about innovating in, it, it really starts with an unmet need or a recognition that what exists at a certain point in time is unsatisfactory. So it's really driven by dissatisfaction of the status quo. And as you think through the innovation process, uh, it, it really, the next step is curiosity. Are you, are you willing to and capable of exploring uh, ways of solving that? The company's always been innovative, even in its earliest years. It was uh, it started as a silk processing firm and evolved from there. But as a practical matter, it's, it's been innovative in, in an area of concentration where it could develop a strong skill set. As we evolved, uh, we became much more focused in personal protection, life safety type products, but it was always with a, a concentration of innovating in that basic area. So as a practical matter, we uh, started off as an innovative firm well before my time uh, and evolved as an innovative firm uh, today. Half of Gentex's employees are, uh, are located in northeastern Pennsylvania. We've expanded in other locations over the years, but a significant portion of our workforce is here. A lot of that workforce has been with us for, for decades. Relatives, uh, parents of those people worked here. We carry a lot of know-how within our workforce locally here today, and we attribute a lot of our success and our ability to grow with that, with the sustainability of that workforce and that know-how embedded in our local community. The medical college probably, first of all, pretty exciting that a medical school could develop in Scranton in northeastern Pennsylvania. And being very, very critical to a firm like Gentex to be able to have healthcare as one of the key components in basically being able to retain personnel. So from a human resource perspective, Without good health care, this region would not necessarily have the strength to survive. But it basically has institutionalized what I consider to be the best practices of a corporate environment. The exciting thing is to see a lot of that innovation evolve into new research and, and uh, new contemporary thinking. <laughs>